Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. So today what I want to do is cover how you set up HomeSeer so you can control your lights, uh, see your statuses when you're away from home. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll show you the configuration steps on the software and some of the tools you can use to kind of uh, you know check in and see how things are looking in the house. So let's kind of cut over here to the computer and I'll kind of give you step-by-steps on some of the things you need to do to get it set up and running. So in my setup video, I showed you how to go to Tools Setup. And here you can go into the Network tab and you want to uh, define your server port. This is the number or a port ID that allows your network to forward traffic from outside to the home seer server, wherever you're running the home seer software. And this number can be anything you want to design. Uh, 80 is just the standard web port. So you can use 8888 or 8080. Um, or 88, you can use a number of number of values here. Uh, just, just the thing is to set it and remember what you've set it to. Because the second part, what I wanted to show you was, uh, let's say you wanted uh, to configure your router. Um, so here what I did was I just searched Netgear Nighthawk port forwarding. And it brings me to the first search result brought me to this page. And what you're going to do is for whatever browser or not browser, your router that you have, if it's a Netgear, Linksys, um, Belkin, whatever router number you have, just take that number and search that with port forward and it'll give you the directions. Because what you're going to do is this is going to allow any network traffic coming into your house that the, the, the router will say, okay, if it comes in for port 80, it's going to route over to your home seer um, system, and that way it'll be able to display it. So the port forwarding is very critical um, for being able to see this outside of the your home network. So the third component is actually registering with home seer itself. Home seer gives you this portal. Um, and basically you connect through HomeSeer to your server. Um, this allows you to connect without knowing your IP address. Um, if you know your IP address, you can just put in the IP address and go straight to it. Not a problem. A lot of uh, cable providers and internet providers change your IP address regularly. So you have to kind of keep up with that. So this is just an easy way. You can go straight to their site, log in, and it will take you to your site. Um, so it makes logging in a little bit easier. And like I said, what you're going to do is when you register your home seer software, they give you a home seer license ID and a password. And you'll put that information here along with your account information. And you'll use your um, email address here and a password. And this is just how you'll access the home seer site itself. So once you put that in, it will give you the access controls. So once you're registered, you can see you'll just be presented with a simple screen here on the home seer site. You can change your account password here. That's just how you access the site. And then it allows you to access the system. So once you click on the access system, it shows you it's connected to home seer, but it is now showing my site. So this, like I said, this is just one way of, of being able to access your site remotely. Now, what I'll do is I will um, break over and show you how it looks for a um, uh, your smartphone. And I have it set up on my Android device. So what I'll do is I'll show you a little bit about how it looks on that screen. So what you want to do is you want to go to the Android store or iPhone um, app store and search for Home Seer 3 Touch Home Automation and it should bring you up with the gear icon looks like this and we'll just do install so once it gets installed you're gonna have to log in and what you'll do is you'll log in with the the user ID that you have set up for your system so if you just want guest and your password would be guest and do OK. So once you do OK, it's going to connect you to the My Home Seer. 
and there you are. It's going to show you the uh, your devices, items you have set up on HomeSeer, you know, your energy monitors, cameras, locks. Um, I don't have any of those specifically set up. I just usually go in through my lighting. And what it does is it'll show you all of your um, devices here. So I can go to all my first floor and my den lights. And here I can turn my lights off and on. It's just a matter of turning on and then turn them back off. And that is it for the uh, the interface. This one is uh, pretty straightforward. Weather. I think I deleted my weather bug, but no, it came up. So, um, and if you have different, you know, cameras set up with your events, um, you can you can control everything here. So let's say if I wanted to change my events, I can go in and do my let's say some lighting. I wanted to change the time of my inside lights going off. All right, so you can edit though. I thought you could edit it, but you couldn't. So anyway, um, so that's it for the uh, home series interface. So thanks for stopping by, and please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or want any further details on what you've seen today, drop me a note below. And thanks, and have a great day.